when exactly did your moral qualms with the project begin? Dr. Oppenheimer. Uh, I apologize, sir. I don't know how you mean. How do I mean? Does this refresh your memory? When did my moral qualms with the Whoopi project begin? I'm not sure. Perhaps I was always tortured by it. In another way, perhaps I was always fascinated by it. But I was homesick, emotionally immature, troubled by visions of undiscovered pranks, useless in the lab. Apologies, Mr. Bohr. You don't like the lab, do you? Not good at it. Prank science is like sheet music. The important thing isn't can you read music, it's can you hear it? Can you hear the music, Robert? I can. So being the prank science's genius you were, you were recruited to join the project. Indeed. One day I was approached by General Leslie Groves. J. Ron, I'm aware. General Groves, nothing personal I hope you know. I need to work on this project. You're questionable ties. What does communism have to do with pranks? I know the project you're working on. I've theorized on it for years. You need me. You have a brilliant mind, but how can I trust you? Theorizing on a prank this large is one thing, but actually executing it? Dropping it on the enemy? They won't fear it until they understand it. And they won't understand it until they've sat on it. Do you really think that you can handle this project? Listen to me. I know you have your worries about me. But I also know what happens if the Nazis have a whoopee cushion. Nazis? Who, who the fuck said anything about the Nazis? I mean, isn't that what this whole thing is about? These are our enemies.
there's a way to balance these things. Leave the explosives lab here. Fart lab, Denver. Large scale refining, what do you say, Tennessee? And Hanford? And Hanford. All of America's might and scientific innovation connected, working together towards one goal. But that's too small scale. Double it. But all of them working under you towards one common goal. Is it what I have written here? Los Alamos. What? No, no. It was... Greeley. Build a town and build it fast. We'll need a school. We'll need a church. We'll need a miniature version of the Statue of Liberty. We'll need to make it smell like shit. And we'll need to make every major retail store ten minutes away, no matter where you live. You all are in charge of fart production, the most important part of this. For every unit of fart produced at this lab, we drop a marble. Once it's full, we'll know you're ready. What's all that about? A few of the guys are taking bets on atmospheric ignition. What? Well, we had a moment where it seemed that the chain reaction from a device like the whoopee cushion might never stop, setting fire to the atmosphere. Are you saying there's a chance that when we press that button that we destroy the world? Nothing in our research suggests that except as the remotest possibility. How remote? Near zero. Near zero? What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. Very soon, we'll know. For Megan.
Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Do you remember when I came to you with those calculations? We were afraid we'd set off a chain reaction that would destroy the world. Well, I believe we did. <laughs>